Hi, Ranger Nation. Welcome. Welcome to a video where we're going to react to the Power Rangers for Fan First uh, Tuesday, which I've, I've got to admit, Hasbro, you've got to step up your, your game. Like, literally, like, the, uh, when you see like, where I'm paused at, I, you can see that they don't want to be there. And I have to admit, having an hour and 10 minutes or maybe an hour and five minutes talking about Transformers is not the best thing to, to have, I think. I think that is absolutely fucking disgraceful to the point where if you're not going to do anything, release this all on social media. Um, that That's how I think about this. So we're going to react to this because... I really, I'm going to change my screen, but I really wanted to kind of, to talk about this. So I want to kind of give my reaction. Um, spoiler alert, I've already pre-ordered everything anyway, um, but I haven't seen any of the, the stuff that has been going on. So, and I've, I've just literally heard this is not good. So we're going to, we're going to um, do this and we're going to speak about it because I think that if this is true, this is absolutely disgraceful. And the fact is that they should literally get people in who actually want to talk about this brand and make it the best. Um, and then we'll probably look at a few comments, but let's, let's, let's jump in. Let's jump in on this. Welcome to Buzz Blast Buzzes, where we buzz about Power Rangers. Did I do that right? Yeah, I think so. This is the first time we've done this. Great job putting yourself out there, Pam. <laughs> Thanks, guys. This is great. So thank you, Transformers, for that awesome What is wrong with the audio? We're super excited to talk to you during this Fan First Tuesday. So, I'm okay. just going to introduce you to the team. So first, we have our product designer, Jordan. Next, we have Jared. Um, wait, I think I did something wrong here. Not Jared? No, my name is Bill, Pam. We've been working together for years. You should know that we have different colored beards. Oh, Do you though? Really? <laughs> I don't... Okay. okay, I want to look at the. Way, um, we're just going to be catching up on what we've. I want to look at the, the Transformers so, part of how they today, how they're doing this. a lot this. of awesome stuff. Yeah, like Dino Fury Season 2 Part 1 dropping on Netflix in the U.S. In the U.S. right now. Check it out if you haven't already. It's what, amazing. Why isn't it talking about the U.K. Like the rest of the world? Line. More Zords, more power-ups, more action. Amazing, amazing Power Rangers action. And um, well, I probably shouldn't talk about the second half, but look forward to that dropping really at some point in the future. Thanks, Jordan. That's awesome. I mean, I love. I'm irritable. I'm irritable. So I mean, my favorite part so far was the prom episode. Just gonna drop that in. So everyone, make sure you check what that the out fuck? on Netflix in the U.S. And yeah, other things that we have today. Bill, would you like to talk about the Dracon helmet? I would love to. So you guys have seen this thing and hell. have one here to show off in person. The Lord Dracon helmet in all its glory. Of course, it has all. Everyone's been calling it Draken. Uh, so everyone else has been saying. Play that we do here at Hasbro. Um, it will, of course, come with a stand. And the helmet itself has a really cool feature that we added. There's a button here on the chin when you turn it on. You get the nice little sound effect, and then, of course, when you wear it, it'll modulate your voice to make you sound like Draken. Well, though, because. Wow, oh. that's amazing, Bill. I Why do I feel like, like that entire thing right there doesn't well, like that the, is currently available up the sound? Order at GameStop, so make sure you pick one up. And one thing that I know you fans have already know about is the Red and Yellow Ranger swap pack. So we're going to be really excited to be talking about this. Thank you, Mystery Hand. So, this looks amazing. And this isn't from the TV show? Right. I'll give you a pass since you're it, new, but it's actually from the Boom Comics Go Go Power Rangers series. This is Collected Volume 4, but I believe Individual Issue 15, featuring romance. Oh my gosh. I have so much to catch up on. Why so is make it? Sure like, you pre order this. It feels today like they, they don't GameStop. really know what they're talking and about. As in, like, not so, so I shouldn't say that. Like, it, it's show, talking you know, down, like, oh no! Ninja Rangers. I didn't know we they were got together! Revealing today the next wave of Mighty Morphin Ninja Rangers. 
That's amazing. It's really yes, bad. Man. Like, I'm, you. I'm, I'm you. sorry, but so it feels like one of the, the, the tree in this like, today it's all for the kids. Final wave of Ninja Ranger figures. I'm a huge fan of the design of these. It's a design that's exclusive to US Power Rangers versus being based off of something in Super Sentai. And I think Corey and Loretta did an amazing job. Kind of like the 3D render. US that looks quite cool to be fair. To life in this super cool, uh, pinless, ninja-fied way. So this final wave consists of Using. Rocky, Aisha, and Kat. And uh, just like the previous wave, I feel like he was going to say Ranger Rocky, Aisha, and Kimberly. Accessories. Um, you see them on the turntable here. Uh, Rocky's rocking. Uh, Rocky's rocking his Ninja Ranger look, but he also has a beautifully coiffed portrait, as well as the uh, Ninjetti half-masked look from the MMPR movie. And uh, the other figures, Just... of course, have awesome face sculpts as well. One of my um, one of the my favorite little details that you can the see thing on the is, packaging though, here it feels... is actually with Cat, which she's the it feels like they kind of Ninja don't Ranger really want to know, and so or they're very kind of done with the package. Not happy with the knowing about it. Do but... a super nice cat portrait versus the fully masked Ninja Ranger uh, look. And for her, she also got a new face sculpt, didn't she? Yes, which I think you can see. I think I put it on her head right there. It's gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. So how can we get these again, Pam? Great question, Jordan. These are going to be available at 1 p.m. Eastern time at Target yeah, and at Hasbro Pulse for premium members and for 2 p.m. for everyone else. Oh, uh, here's the music think, uh, in the background. The and now it's time to break open a classic Power Rangers pinata, available now at Party City and PartyCity.com. Ta-da! I have heard the secret to breaking a pinata is not just to hit it, but I I find this really going cringy, but not in a uh, as in why. It. it do you actually get power points? Uh, to be fair, that would be pretty cool. Hey, Pam, you know masks are optional in the office right now, right? Jordan, how else am I going to live out my dreams as a rain Red Ranger without Disguise's new interactive Red Ranger Mighty Morphin Child Mega Mask Buddy? This is currently available right now on Amazon. And speaking it's a of the Red that Ranger, no one I wanted. think that Bill has an amazing reveal for us today. I do, Pam. Super excited to announce the uh, Red Ranger Power Sword in all its glory. It's around 39 inches. Yeah. Weighty. I want to know if that's exactly the same as the Legacy one. Top secret. Um, this has two activation buttons. One's going to turn this on. And we have a fun feature we've added with two sensors in the blade. You can actually... Okay, that's pretty awesome. To activate the blade. Wow, just like the like Red Ranger show. does in the show. Very it's similar to how um, more, uh, how that was for, for uh, Thingamabob in that episode against Cardiotron or something. Uh, display stand for the sword to fit on as well, but who wants to put this thing on the stand when you can actually play with it? Second <laughs> button. Can't always have it in my hand all the time. Play the entire theme song. Cheeky copyright there. No one all can. Day. All day. All day. It doesn't look it's dangerous. Like I'm, I'm very curious to know how if it is the exactly the same thing. It has die cast metal it's in it too. Oh yeah. Oh, just turned it off. Let's put it back on the stand. Man. How can we get this thing, Pam? Oh, hey, Bill. Thank you. This is available for pre-order today at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Like, for the amount of Hasbro money that they are charging this. But my gosh, that thing is gigantic. It is almost as large as I am. Twice as cool, though, Pam. Oh, what, Bill? No, no you, you are. are you, you are. are twice as twice cool. cool. Why is it like, so, like this? Like, I literally. I have time to talk about one more thing, which would be the... Okay, oh, yeah, Dragon Zord. The Zord Ascension Project, Dragon Zord. 
two quick notes yeah. about this model. One, it is a very early model, not indicative of the final pro product. The but it already is. is a little bit unpainted, a little bit completely unpainted, and the greens aren't quite saturated to my liking. So please keep that in mind, not final. So they but have let to talk about details. The Zord Ascension Project, if you haven't heard, is Hasbro's new Lightning Collection Extension initiative. Which is really, really expensive. Megazords to collectors. The Dragon Zord and the previous item, the Dino Megazord, this whole line is meant to be at 1 and 1 44th scale. It, now, I mean, what it that looks means cool. is if you measure the height of this Dragon Zord, which is, I think, just under, it's between 9 and 10 inches, if you take that measurement and measure it, uh, if you multiply that by 144 times, you get to experience or imagine the Dragon Zord being at that scale. So this is 144 times smaller than the real scale. It's not like uh, we're asking really for a, a fucking Dragon Zord or like a proper one. Like myself, associate one and one forty-fourth size things with things that are maybe like four, you know, four to six inches tall. But that just brings into picture how colossal Mega Zords and Zords are in Power Rangers. So. What's up with the Dragon Zord? It comes with a lot of cool stuff. You see it's played out on this table, but one of the neat things that we have I reckon the, the thing going across the Zord Ascension project line is little cockpits. I have a feeling that the um, in there. chest is going to light up. Because how can you beat their Bandai one? We're sometimes the good guys. Not only do we have a little mini Tommy in there, we have two itty bitty Tommies too. Uh, we've given two in this set because one, we couldn't decide, do we want to pose out playing the flute or pose out in the action pose? So can can you imagine that? If you the want other, the one with the flute uh, or the one posing, you're going to have to buy them both. The Dino Megazord, so why not do both? Uh, if you want I, this one, you have to really buy two of them. Uh, quickly touch on is about the size. Um, you know, the Dino Megazord was really big construction with four or five smaller component Zords. That the only one thing Megazord, I want them to do is I want them to uh, fix the legs because the legacy one accessory. wasn't that great for legs. So, hey Jordan, does this connect with the other zap item? It sure does. Here I've got another, again, early model of the... It's not an early model. I, back the, I reckon that's the, the final one. Four, four, three other Zords from the Dino Megazord to form the... I, I like the Dragon battle mode. Zord I really do. I, I think it's really nice. It's one of my favorite Megazord formations of all time uh and we were super I, I was personally very excited to see this thing brought to life it doesn't all new ways that, this whole thing project. doesn't one little detail that i want fill to me with everything that kind of calls back to the original marker rendering concept artwork um is the robot visor that's kind of hidden under here so for the first time, if you look at that early concept art and the early marker renderings, you'll actually see that the visor is translucent. You can see I think the, this. I think uh, that is literally going to be it. Mecha eyes of this heroic warrior. There isn't much really that you, in the concept that you can it's blue. deal it's blue with this. Visor. So as a callback to that original concept art, we brought the translucent visor into the Zap version of our uh, Dragon Zord. And I just think that's just, a really fun way to call back to the Super Sentai origins of... Just a translucent visor, guys! That's it! Um, Nothing more! This is not up for pre-order yet. This is like, not yet up for pre-order. And for these, as you can see, the, the height difference between the combined um, version and also for the Dragon Zord. This second one, the Dragon Zord, will actually cost less than our original Megazord. So that is currently not available yet for Wait, wait, wait. Do they say it costs soon. more than the original and Megazord? of course, it's a great time to also show you a super duper awesome clip of our 360 of this. Is that what... I'm going to have to literally go back and check on that one. After we done. And thank you everyone for joining and tuning in with us today. And thank you all you fans for really watching. I really hope they let us do another one. Third time's a charm, fam. Go team! Yeah, that it, it doesn't need this. Like I want to be holding the thing. Alright, we're good. <laughs> that that's abysmal. That is fucking abysmal. Where are we? Like I wonder what she says. I haven't heard is Hasbro's new Lightning Collection Extension initiative to Megazord. The other right, right. 
another, Which again, early model of the behind this. This is not yet up for free order and for these as you can see the the height difference between the combined um, version and also for the Dragon Zord. This second one, the Dragon Zord, will actually cost less than our okay. original Megazord. So that is currently not available yet for free order but will be up this soon. Was be like, oh, it and cost of more. course it's a great time to also. Right. Now let's go back and have a look here. What about you? Oh man, what haven't we been doing these days? Um, so I want to know how- I'm out here in beautiful- Right, let's look at this one, because this is what I want to- Happy to be here as always. It's been a while, Mark. What have you been up to since PulseCon the last time we've been on here? Well, I uh, I married a beautiful Autobot. So that was pretty Amazing. wild. Amazing, congrats. Little, uh, I got a little, uh, <laughs> a little ring on the, the, the bot hand here. How about you? Um, well, I'm back in Ohio for a few weeks. We're celebrating so, my daughter's first birthday. Actually, this, this she's one already, which what is crazy. Is. So as you, what about you? Oh man, what haven't we been? Prime robot by Robosin. Right, is the. Well, I want to know. Let's head on over to the world of. Series of adventures. Okay, but where? where Miss Prime is... leads the Autobots in a. Well, shows it's... creators and producers to you guys how this awesome toy line came together so we actually started ideating legacies several let's look at the I shelves want to talk in one mainly about the, the product and then also blending in with the rest of your wfc collection yeah and i think we have a, a behind the scenes look at the design of rc from wave one uh, mark do you want to talk about that a little bit yeah, that was uh, so that was great. I actually uh, reached out to product. Marcelo Matri. He's uh, an amazing trans. Anytime. So we'd love to hear from you in the chat. Let us know who you want to see in the future um, as we're developing this line. Okay. Right. And uh, with all that, I hope I hope that helps explain what we're doing here with Legacy. We do have some exciting product reveals today. We're going to be revealing Wave Two. Um, to launch launching in stores so, this fall. Notice how this is and so much the different. first toy we're gonna be talking about was already revealed yesterday, Deluxe Class Wild Rider. All right, Wild Wait, Rider, finally a uh, crazy stunticon <laughs> here. Um Jima-san actually worked on this guy. Yeah, let's just skip into this. Um, so, so that's again, really fun. Yeah. It's product. featured here with yeah. the Yeah, I, I mean, I uh, sprayed pink or that like uh off color pink that we have here which is more of a like an orangey pink the colors actually on so yeah, i mean he he looks really so great without the weathering as well i mean don't i didn't really mind the weathering of, but of i this. mean as you can see this this really irritates me so let, let's let's talk about all of this now i'm going to probably make another video step towards this but this is kind of giving me my the, the rough ideas exactly right now because of this to me i feel like this was not even a thing like this could have been an email like i receive emails from uh hasbro talking about what they've got coming out and it'll be like this is what we've got the ninja rangers or we have this we have that the, all the power range thing could have come out in a email or literally you could have seen it on their social media website i feel that when it came to the transformers side this is all it was transformers power rangers was just left in and when it, when i see this from hasbro it makes me kind of think what are you even doing like why are you even trying any of this and i feel like this is one thing that i get irritated by because if you're not going to treat the brand with a bit of respect and you're going to treat it like it's that 90s show and i think i think that is the main key when i see this is because every single person every single brand treats this like it's a 90s project or it's like hey fellow kids we've got the ninja rangers you like the ninja rangers Ooh, how are you doing oh can we get a high five because you rock and it's like what the fuck are you doing give this to either find people in your office that actually want to do this and give it justice not just someone where you have three people that really like try to crack jokes one person's like oh what's your name oh we've been working together for three years or multiple years well you don't know my name it, it just it just feels like you're trying to get that humor and you really don't take this brand seriously 
I'm gonna I'm, I'm not gonna rant anymore about it because I want to rant more in another video because I'm fucking pissed off on this so that video is gonna come next it's gonna be out there so look forward to that in a little bit it's gonna probably gonna be like this because it's 10 times easier anyway I'm gonna leave it there what are your thoughts on this do you like this what were your thoughts on the power sword on the ninja rangers that we're getting again another re reprint of Kimberly or the body of the pink rangers I say because I know it's cat head sculpt looks nice figures look nice well I've already pre-ordered them don't think they're worth the price that they're asking for and yes I have already pre-ordered the power sword because I want to know if it's bigger than the uh, one that came from Bandai so I'm gonna leave it there let me know what you think down below in the comments and if you like this sort of content and you want to hear and see more hit the like hit the subscribe and also leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video チャンネルをサポートしてくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。